Hi, it's Marie. Today I want to talk to you about a little hack that I've got to do some memory keeping project lifestyle but without pockets. It's like a floating a floating seat setup with acetate um, and I'm about to show it to you but before I jump into it, this is my fifth time trying to record this, uh, I just wanted to let everyone in the States know all of my friends. I want you to know that I'm standing with you. I'm standing with democracy. I can't say more because I I am still battling with how to talk about this. So I just want to let you know that I stand with you. I want you to know that bottom line is I support dem democracy and I support all of my friends in the United States. Please speak to me. Tell me how you're doing. I, I If I can cry buckets over the news in the morning, if I feel this way, I can only imagine how you feel. So please reach out to me, tell me how you're doing. And now I'm going to jump in to show you uh, how I do weeks in the life with my little hack thing. I, I know I'm jumping from such a serious topic into something light, but guess what? Memory keeping is a coping mechanism, isn't it? So this is what I just did to help myself calm down from watching the news, from having trouble on Instagram with people who don't think I should have an opinion about democracy. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Hey, guys. This is... Okay, so this is what the acetate sheet looks like. I have created a modular system that goes on here. I have actually left this um, about an inch empty in this side. It actually slips in very nicely here. Like it slips into, this is just an A4 um, sheet thing. Hold on, let me show you. So it slips in really nicely here. Which is why I wanted to Oh dear, it came off, I need to fix that back, but basically it fits nicely here and if I wanted to I could just do, and it kind of looks like it's floating and it's protected. So the idea was to create that floating feeling but still have a lot of freedom. I'm not bound by pockets, it's kind of fun. So, I will tell you all about this layout in a second. Hold on, let me just get this sorted. Okay, sorted. Okay, cool. So, um, let me get this off of my little folder to show you what I did here. So, this is week one. I actually um, designed all of this. Oh my gosh, my glue's not working! Okay, so I designed all of this on my design program. I could have just printed it out this way except for the journaling, but this time around I actually printed out all of these individually, uh, individual um, journaling bits because I don't have anything. Like I don't have a studio calico kit yet, I don't have any um, journaling kits with me yet, and I didn't want to use my journaling kit the way um, I didn't want to fussy cut that for this particular thing, my January kit, although I've used my January kit um, here. So you've got my my jumpers pattern for January, and then I I printed the number 0 and 1 onto the square, but I printed the week separately, cut and pasted here, cut and paste this here with, and I typed this in, um, and I printed it out this way. I, I cut these hats out. Um, this is a picture of my Valentine's kit. I printed this onto the picture. I cut out the creating for February separately and I cut out my flowers which I drew. I drew these flowers and I colored them digitally. Then I print them, printed them out and put them here. So these are about eight, about 8 centimeters square, both of them. These are taller than 8 centimeters, 10.2 centimeters by 8. So this is just a photo of Steve um, with onion soup. We, I took him out for a belated birthday dinner and he talked a lot about the onion soup. He got tired of it. Uh, <laughs> he has a very specific um, particular palette uh, and I just love this photo of him. He looks so cheeky. Um, this is 
a picture of my Valentine's cake, which is, let me see, do I have it lying around here today? I think I do, hold on, <laughs> just give me a sec. Yep, I do. Don't know how many more minutes I have here. Okay, I've got a minute. So I've got, you know, I printed this out at home to see how it would work. And I have some limitations, so it's not the full the full size, which is 6.8, a 6x8. But I'm really proud of, you know, these kits. And if you go to Thoughtful Studio, you can see more about uh, my February kits. It's been a lot of work, and so I really wanted to feature it. Here I say happy belated birthday, my Stephen. I'm so grateful we spent time together this week, darling. And this bit I cut out separately, and the heart as well, but I printed this as it was. Hey! <sighs> Things are falling off. I don't know, guys. Maybe this scotch glue stick isn't as reliable as I think it is. I thought that it was absolutely fine. But it looks like things are just falling off right, left, um, and center. So, Star Trek Discovery, we've been watching it. We're huge Star Trek fans. Um, we have been for a very long time. And we love, I really love Saru. Doug Jones, to me, is absolutely brilliant. Doug Jones. So, I feel that Sonika Martin Green is doing an absolutely brilliant job as Michael. Uh, we are both obsessed with Star Trek, the whole universe of Star Trek, from the original series, which I haven't watched fully. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of The Next Generation, huge fan of Voyager, um, Stephen loves it in Enterprise, I'm not partial to it. I, I did enjoy DS9 quite deeply. Um, this has been just such a gift and a blessing. We watch, we're watching Picard as well, obviously. Um, and <laughs> I feel like we are living in a golden age of television, but I can't get everything. I can't get all the episodes quickly enough. I can't wait for everything. I'm so excited. Um, one of the highlights of the week. Um, this is last week, obviously. Um, this is just a picture of us on the 3rd of January. Stephen King to look at all my um, layouts in my study, and it was so nice. Sometimes he comes in and looks at me working. It doesn't happen often, but I just love having him in this room. It makes me feel so safe and loved. Um, this is, I just sort of designed lo a little um, card remember to nourish yourself so I've sort of chosen a word for the year and I think it's nourish because I am dealing with blood sugar issues and health issues and I need to nourish myself properly uh, I also need to be kinder to myself and fill my soul with love and good things so I've chose I think I'm gonna settle on the word nourish for the year and I've I've been having matcha and oats in the morning and I've enjoyed this so far this is my journaling I'm trying to sleep early too let's see how far we go this year I'm not one for resolution, guys, but I am trying to be better to myself this, this year. So, week one, 27 January to the 2nd, and then I'm turning this over to show you this week. Um, it is only Friday, but I've sort of done the week. Um, this is the week where President Trump uh, tried to get um, the Georgia Secretary of State to overturn the 2020 election results. Stephen was watching, was listening to the transcript. He had fallen asleep on the sofa, and uh, he, sh he he actually told me that he th he thought he was actually t talking to President Trump in real life, and he actually was active dreaming. So he started screaming outside, and I was in my study doing Project Life or something. I can't remember what. And I ran outside and I asked him if everything was okay, and he told me. I thought I was actually talking to him in real life and that's why I screamed, <laughs> so that was quite funny. <laughs> um, but also, um, it's set. I know it's funny that this happened, but later in the week, obviously, um, the, the situation at the Capitol happened and um, I write about that here a little bit. Uh, and it's just been an awful day. Today is actually the, s the 8th of January, so I, uh, I, I have had time to think and listen to everything that's been happening. It's it's just been really awful. Um, this is my Me, Myself and I journal. Hold on, let me see. Is it here? Let me see. This Hold on. I should be able to show it to you. Come on, journal. Oh, here it is. Okay. Ouch! I've 
got back pain this week, guys. Pretty bad week. Okay, so this is my me, myself, and I journal. I showed this to you in the last video, and there are new, <laughs> there's a new spread, which I'll talk to you about soon. But I've really been doing so much of that, uh, and I found it this week, not last week. I found it this week because I saw, I discovered Heba this week, which has changed my life. I really love um, her community. I love her style of talking to people. So I've actually included the journal as part of the highlight of this week. Um, I talked to my friend Jeanette uh, about what's happening in the States at the moment. She's American. She's living in Europe and I just really am so grateful for her because she's been a calming influence on me uh, and she's so stressed as well about what's happening in the States. So, you know, I've just been able to talk to her about it. I didn't feel less, I felt less alone. Um, these are the acetates that I had printed. They're over here. Um, let me show you. I am going to put a video out about these on Thoughtful Studio very soon. Uh, but I'm so proud of these. And I can't wait to share them with you. And I just printed the wording here itself. For this layout, you'll find that I printed the bits and bobs on straight out the way they are. I didn't do any cutting and pasting here. Uh, my back pain is causing me to be, my back pain is causing me to have a little bit, I, I have a little bit of trouble sitting um, in this chair and, and cutting and pasting too much. Uh, my lower back is really not letting me do that so much, so I just decided to design it uh, as is, and then I, I, hand I did some hand handwritten journaling. Uh, for Jeanette, I just write, I give thanks for Jeanette because I feel supported and understood. To have such a wise friend in such trying times, someone who feels so deeply to is a bomb and a sob, I'm lucky to have her. And uh, here I write about Stephen dreaming and his shout scream. So this is a little flip out, um, which I've just attached here with washi. It's a photograph of my, <laughs> my blue skirt and, and my brown sandals. Uh, I went for a walk to get things printed for proofing my February kit and I also purchased a lot of materials to do all of it with. So I went to Popular which is a bookstore here and I bought craft paper, acetate, number and letter stickers which, oh they're right here. Virtues of not cleaning up immediately after you're done with work is so it's right there for you to me to show you. Then I sort of write the name, uh, sorry, the date of the photograph and just say this is the week I went to the printers and tried our acetates out. Also a sorrowful week for the states of the Capitol building a storm, just sending love. And this is why I, I, I talked to, to Jeanette about this and I feel so much better now that I, I have done. And this, I feel storing it loose is not going to be the best thing so I'm going to be putting it back in here. Yes. Mess. Mess everywhere. I'm extremely messy. Oh, I tell you what, I'll just show this to you since you're here. Um, I, I print my patterns in vellum and I, I have a look at... I, I, I keep them in this folder. At the moment I don't have um, an empty A4 folder, so I'm going to be putting this in here just to keep dust off it, and I'm going to get a dedicated A4 folder for this. I am very messy, guys. I know. Okay, I'll hand you back to me. And we'll talk a little bit about what you just saw. Okay, so do you do you think it's messy? Do you think I'm a hot mess? <laughs> Tell me how you feel about this little process that I've dis discovered. I'm so sure someone else has done this, but maybe you can encourage me to keep going. <sighs> it's been such a stressful day, guys. But talking to you has always been something that's helped me and I'm so proud to know that you're with me on my little YouTube journey. <laughs> I hope you're taking good care of yourself. I'm thinking of you. Sending you so much love. Bye. Thanks for being here. <laughs>